Scapula of the horse, scapula of the ox. Lateral surface. Okay. Lateral surface. Spine of scapula. Spine of scapula. Tubercle of spine. Supraspinous fossa. Infra spinous fossa. Nutrient forami. Nutrient forami. Cranial border. Cranial border. Dorsal border and scapular cartilage. cartilage. Caudal border. Caudal border. Cranial angle. Caudal angle. Ventral. Ventral angle or glenoid angle. Glenoid cavity. Glenoid cavity. Glenoid notch. Glenoid notch. Supra glenoid tubercle, supra glenoid tubercle, coracoid process, coracoid process, vascular groove, medial or costal surface containing vascular groove, subscapular fossa, subscapular fossa, facious. Serrata, okay? Facious serrata. Differentiation between ox scapula from the horse. Cow scapula or ruminant scapula from the horse. Presence of acromion in the cow, okay? Acromion. Supraspinous fossa is interrupted okay but here is continuous in horse okay the nutrient foramen is located in the margin of the caudal border but here it is somewhat far from the caudal border supragrinoid tubercle in horse is projected more projected than that of the Cow. Glenoid notch in horse is obvious while in ox is not clear. This tuberosity of the spine in horse is more clear while in the cow is not distinct. Subscapular fossa, Tarani Rashona, here subscapular fossa is deep, but here is shallow. And it is the scapula of the cow is more triangular. Okay? And this is the scapula of the sheep and goat. Okay? Just resemble, resemble the scapula of the ox. But the size is smaller. <laughs>